Do you want to be healthier, yet you just don't know what to do? All these shows telling you this and that, but nothing seems to work. Well, listen close. Golden State Media Concepts has got something great for you. The health and wellness podcast dedicated to workout trends, healthy eating habits, diet, and everything about healthy living. Join us in our banters as we help you not just live life to the fullest, but live it to the healthiest. to the GSMC Health and Wellness Podcast, brought to you by GSMC Podcast Network. I'm your host, Stacey. And I'm your co-host, Sarah. And today, our topic is sort of almost the reverse of a previous topic we've done. <laughs> okay. Because we did talk a, a lot on a previous episode about HIT, <laughs> the high intensity interval, whatever HIT stands for. <laughs> I think that's right, because it's H-I-I-T, correct? Yes. Yeah. So today, I know we, when we talked about it, you and I were both like, but our knees. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> like, but but that's hard. But that's impact in my body. And no. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, oh, I feel very sad and I can't get in shape. And <laughs> well, I don't like the gym anyway. So there. So oh, I don't like you anyways. <laughs> I don't like you first. <laughs> <laughs> but so today our topic is LISS. L-I-S-S. Because, because we're acronyms. all about acronyms here I'm not like, yes. at the Health and Wellness Podcast. Absolutely. Dash, dash, and yeah. Mm-hmm. So this stands for Low Intensity Steady State. And it's often written as LIS Cardio. One okay. word, two, word, two words. LIS Cardio. <laughs> LIS Cardio. Okay. It sounds like a strange female name. Yes. Like a exercise superhero. LIS Cardio. <laughs> Come in to save the day. <laughs> oh, thank you, Liz Cardio. Right. Yep, exactly like that. So Liz is light cardio that's done at about 50 to 60% of your maximum heart rate at a consistent pace for longer time. Okay. So rather than hit, which is as hard as you can go for a very short amount of time, it's like scale it back, but therefore we need to do it longer. Right. Because. So just a different approach. Yes. But this is actually really good for fat burning because you're in that 50 to 60 percent zone. Like if you've ever been on a gym machine where it's got the fat burning zone, which is not mm-hmm. the most extreme. And I was always like, why am I not? Why do I get beyond fat burning when I'm working harder? That doesn't. What the heck is going right. on here? Right. Shouldn't I be burning more fat? <laughs> right. Like I could be like, I have to stay in this middle. Really? Stupid gym machines. You don't count my calories properly anyways. I don't like you first. (laughs) I'm sure they don't. And yet, I love that feature because I'm always like, I burned X number of calories today, whether I really did or not. Well, I have a fast heart rate, so it always throws me off Mm. because I'll I'll get the number. And like for someone else, it's like, oh my gosh, you're about to have a heart attack. I'm like, no, I'm just working out. That's fine. (laughs) My my resting heart rate is like other people's workout heart rate. It's fine. Oh, dear. I mean, it's not that high, but... But I I would hope it's not that high all the time. And, you know, your doctor... Is okay with this? Well, my PE teacher did actually like send me to my doctor when mm-hmm. we did our heart rate test because mm-hmm. she thought I was like, you know, about to have a heart attack at any moment. And we did the whole, whole test where they hooked up wires or whatever. And they're like, no, right. you're fine. Okay. I was, I was like, okay. So I have a fast heart rate. As long as your doctor's okay with it. See, when I work out, you know, I'm very, very pale. <laughs> In skin tone. <laughs> and so I go really white and then my face flushes. So I look like I'm also about to have a heart attack because yes. I just look ridiculous. I'm all blotchy. <laughs> yes. Very attractive. Of course. It has nothing to do with Liz. I was very upset, though, just to continue not talking about Liz, uh, <laughs> that my doctor did not write me a note getting me out of the mile. <laughs> it's just like, oh, but yeah. my PE teacher says, no, I'm fine. Are you sure I'm fine? Can we do it? <laughs> Here, can you just sign this blank piece of paper? I would just like your autograph. That it, says I shouldn't have to do any of these hard cards. Oh, let's fine. see if you just signed a, he or she just signed a blank piece of paper, then you could have like written your own note. Right. Because that's, that's, <laughs> that's totally what, professional. That's, yeah. That's, there's nothing morally wrong with that. <laughs> yes. But so anyways, because you... List goes at a lower exertion amount. Mm -hmm. I had to stop and think about that. You do it for longer. So it said that 45 to 60 minutes of list can help the body actually become conditioned 
to use fat as a fuel source better. Oh, okay. So it's not just the one time and you burn fat, but it's if you keep doing this, my body really knows to burn. Oh, we're going to the fat burning mode. Okay, get on that fat burning. Get it, bring out the fat from the pantry, lard, whatever. <laughs> larder. It's okay. a larder. Okay. So unless you're using your fat burning program on your right. the machine you're using at the gym, how do you know you're doing this properly? I mean, do you have to know your normal workout heart rate and then do 50 to 60% of it? I mean, how does this work? Sarah is always trying to jump ahead. We're going to get there. I'm, so- get I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sarah, I just- we're doing lists, not uh- hit podcasting. Have- list podcasting. I have questions. List casting. Okay. We're list casting. Okay. I'll, I'll shut up. This cardio come in and save Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, this actually, you know, back in the 70s and 80s, way before my time, way before my time. I'm kidding. It uh, was actually just called cardio. We didn't have a special acronym sure, sure. term for it because acronyms aren't new, but somehow really in fashion lately. Hmm. I I don't know what I was going to say. Was it an acronym? Uh, no, it wasn't oh. an acronym. For some reason, I was just focused on really high cut leotards and leg warmers because <laughs> you said 80s and cardio and <laughs> just went to a zone. Oh, man, a, a bad zone that we wish we didn't have photos for, I'm sure. It made me think of when I took gymnastics in elementary school and I had this Aww. P- purple leotard. It was very high cut. I think it had a Aww. hot pink belt. Wow. Mm-hmm. I'm just, I know. Imagine, I know. Yeah, that's, mm-hmm. we're going to, that's. I, I am sorry for you. We're going to move away from that. So uh, LIS is great for developing aerobic fitness and increasing your cardiovascular endurance because you have to do it for the longer amount of time. Right. But keeping the steady pace for the expanded period of time can kickstart weight loss, increase blood flow, and promote oxygen delivery. So it's not just, oh, our knees. <laughs> it is actually, you can actually, especially uh, for people who, you know, don't have a regular workout mm-hmm. program jumping into hit can be like a yeah well so, no <laughs> yeah that's definitely baptism by fire there right i remember my roommate and i we once did went and did a krav maga workout class oh wow and we were like yeah so never again yeah never again <laughs> <laughs> like by the end of it we, we were like yeah we live up the hill we are most definitely taking the bus and we are upset <laughs> that the bus does not go straight to our door <laughs> right to our beds if right, they just exactly. drop us off it's like uh, my body uh, uh, yeah it's like your first crossfit workout i would imagine where you just make, I imagine. You don't quite know what you're getting into when you show up and you're like hi right exactly yeah. instead of the you know training wheels it's just like okay now go do bike stunts go be in the <laughs> right. x games right now you've never been on a bike go ready go because that's yeah mm-hmm. i mean we're not birds pushing people off the nest you can Ease your way into fitness. And that'll, you know, most likely mean you actually will stick to it if it's not like, that was so incredibly hard, I'm going to die. Or if you wake up the next morning and every single muscle in your body hurts so bad you can't get out of bed. Yes. Uh, So this is actually long duration, lower intensity cardio has actually traditionally been considered the best type of cardio workout for weight loss. Hmm. So especially people who are like, okay, you know what? I'm finally going to get in shape and making a mid summer resolution <laughs> right if there are such things i'm sure there are but whatever it's like going back to school i'm gonna make it going yes. back to school resolution <laughs> exactly a back to the evil gym resolution see the high school the, the kids and i both hate the gym so it's all fitting there you go gym hating is strong at this time <laughs> the gym hating is strong with this one uh, yes definitely with me but yeah so this would actually be really good if weight loss is your main goal for actually starting up the exercise you weren't doing before this is the best cardio for that okay very good yes and it actually is found that uh speaking of sore muscles as you were earlier recovery is quicker with lists than with hit which just yeah yeah yeah, (laughs) that's of course just makes sense because oh my gosh hit just i've never done a hit class but i've seen them and i'm just like how no wait there's too much no (laughs) (laughs) can we just bring it down from 11 to like Three. Um, can I just interject here? That uh, my husband and a friend of his had a bet recently. They bet on a an MMA match, and um, they bet that if my husband lost, he had to do 250 push-ups in a certain amount of time, mm-hmm. and if um, his friend lost, he had to do 500 push-ups. And, and mm-hmm. they they created their own numbers. It's not like you know. I mean, <laughs> it, it sounds really awful. So he came over on Sunday. And he had, I don't know, like four hours or something to do the push-ups. And mm-hmm. so he did 400 and my husband was like, I'm going to do push-ups with you. I'll do 
I think he did a hundred just, you wow. know, in solidarity. And I was like, I'll do 10. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then uh, they decided I had to do 30. So I did 30 push pushups. Um, but you just arbitrarily, you weren't even in the bet. I know I wasn't in the bet. I mean, I just said I'll do 10 because I know I can do 10 push pushups. I mean, I could do 32, but I was like, I'll do 10. I know I can do 10. And I do real push pushups, not, you know, quote unquote girl push pushups. Mm -hmm. And then after I did my first 10, my husband was like, I think you should do 30. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you said we were talking about sore muscles and mm -hmm. uh, I have certain muscles right near my armpits that I'm like, yeah, Ow. I, oh, there, there are muscles there. What, what the heck? What so, happened? Yeah. Maybe don't go from doing no pushups to doing 500 pushups or whatever. Yes. But because uh, recovery is quicker, that means you can actually work out again the next day right. as opposed to taking a recovery day uh, as opposed. Yeah. I kind of want to take like recovery weeks. Half weeks. <laughs> I'll work. I'll work out a day and then I'll take a month. I'll work out on the first of the month. <laughs> Right. Every month. <laughs> like work out on the weekends and rest of the week or mm -hmm. something. Yeah. But it's also safer because there's less strain placed on the joints and knees and there's a lower chance for injury. That's good. So it's not only less hard, it's less likely to hurt yourself and then really not want to do it again. It sounds like we really hate hit. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> we don't. It's just our knees do. <laughs> That's what it is. It's all our knees. Our knees are the problem here. Yep. So, knees. Yep. We're going to take a short break and try and get our knees to get with the program. Stay tuned. Still on the search of that one true love? On the limbo in this crazy world of dating, marriage, relationships. Well, listen to the Golden State Media Concepts Relationship Podcast. Your one-stop podcast for everything about relationships Welcome back to the GSMC Health and Wellness Podcast. I do like the fact that this is not the anti-hit, but it does seem <laughs> right. sort of... <laughs> We're kind of talking about it like it's the anti-hit. Well, and now I'm thinking of this cardio as like an assassin. Uh <laughs> to go out against it. <laughs> or, Your mission, should you choose to accept it. Or list cardio and, and, and there, there's, there's got to be a, a hit version of the of the superhero and they're like arch nemesis. List cardio versus hit man or something. <laughs> Probably, yes. Uh, hit pain. Pain of hit. I don't know. Anyways, I like hit man. Hit man. Not bad. So, uh, but there is the thought that the reason list is becoming more popular along with now having its own acronym is that it might actually be a response to the emphasis we've seen previously on the, you know, all high intensity all the time, go, mm. go, go, miss. Mm -hmm. And now we're like, let's slow down and be more peaceful and mindful. And mindfulness is well, such a buzzword. It is. But I mean, just in general, people have a lot of things that, you know, not everyone can do high intensity. Not, you know, not everybody has the, the joint they, they, their joints can't handle it or, right. you know, older people shouldn't be doing high intensity. There's got to be more than just high intensity. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I think water aerobics <laughs> works for a lot of people, not high intensity. Right. But it was found in 2013 in a study published in the journal Nutrition, Metabolism and Cardiovascular Diseases. I, just, my I love the scientific journal name. <laughs> <I know. laughs> That's my favorite magazine ever. Right? I always get it every month or quarter or what. I don't even know. <laughs> uh, but the study concluded that prescribing a higher intensity exercise decreases adherence and results in the completion of less exercise. Hmm. So not only do people not stick with it, but they're like halfway through the class. Of like, yeah, I'm just going to sit yeah. here. You, you can, you're doing great. You, you continue on. Yeah. But also, because it doesn't take as large a toll on your body as hit, this can actually make dieting easier. Mm -hmm. And you can increase your calorie burn without overstressing your system. Nice. So it's like we don't have to go in the same way, you know, all those crazy one ingredient diets, like cabbage soup oh, diets. Yeah. Just like, no. Yeah, not no. so much. You don't have to do that. You also don't have to do hit. You can get healthy and lose weight without going to major, major extremes. Yes. Major extremes. <laughs> but yeah, so I like this just because... 
A, my knees, but then B, it feels like there's a sort of competition if when you're in more high mm. intensity impact classes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's a certain type of person and, and personality maybe that's attracted to that. And this that wasn't a judgmental statement. It's just, you know, people who really like that high intensity are, are, are different than me. Right. <laughs> Let's just yes. say. Well, and also because, you know, you look at like the instructor who's really in shape and I'm just like, right. So I'm taking this class because somewhere in my subconscious where advertisers play on, there's a part of me that thinks if I take this class, <laughs> right. I'll look like you. Right. But now that I'm actually doing it, I'm not sure that the reward is worth all the work because this hurts. And, and this is going to be a total generalization with absolutes. Uh, but but when, I, <laughs> when I picture these two, I picture the, the hit class with the instructor that's just like screaming at you constantly. Uh -huh. And then the list class is more like hippie free, you know, like, <laughs> no, not, and I'm being very, right, general, yeah. you know, but like, okay, listen to your body and see, you know, mm -hmm. like more gentle. And those are very, very extreme, but that's how my, I'm picturing them in my head on opposite ends of the spectrum. I'm picturing hit as that spin class that Amy Schumer's character and I feel pretty took right before she hit her head. Oh, geez. Where yeah. it's like very intense. And also you're very close with everybody else in this room and they're all in much better shape than you. Mm -hmm. And so you feel, you know, yep the comparison and then you hit your head and think you're wonderfully fit without having to do anything so what i'm saying is i really want to hit your head workout <laughs> <laughs> no i don't mm, but no I, I i can't i can't get on board with that plan no yeah i'm not sure how that became my uh, conclusion there but yeah the just that hit seems like oh you're really really intense really okay but i'm gonna i'm gonna sneak out the class while you're not looking and all the mirrors in this room right. <laughs> still make me feel incomplete. Sad. Again, don't hate hit, but just, it's hard. Just know that it's a specific type of workout that it comes is. with its own pros and cons, with its own things that you need to be watching for. You know, you need to, like with anything, you shouldn't just jump into it blind. You need to do research. You need to talk to your doctor, etc., mm -hmm. etc. Cetera, et cetera. Yes. And even though this is really the only option for beginners to actually, you know, get into fitness and mm -hmm. be will likely to stick with it. Even if you do really like hit, you can still benefit from this mm -hmm. because a, again, there's the less recovery needed and you, I don't care who you are. You cannot go like 110% every day for a workout. That's just, your body does not do that. That's not how humans are built. Robots maybe, but we're not there yet. <laughs> right. So, People who do try and do that tend to actually get like overtraining injuries. Mm -hmm. And so it's just like, this can be a good sort of, uh, I love the word they used, active recovery. Because mm. they a lot of people don't want to take recovery days because they're like, oh, right. I'm going to lose all the things I just gained in my workout and I'm going to get stiff. And... Right. Or you don't work out for the day and then you just, it's like, poof, nope. I, I just yeah, worked right. out. I was, I was, my ha I had a habit. I was consistent, took one day off, didn't work out for another year. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> like, it's like, I got to keep my body in that mode or else it will just rebel like a teenager. Yeah. 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 So because you do require the recovery time muscles and stretching and breaking and I totally knew that at one point and can't remember but that whole thing about you know what you really get the improvement from your muscle in the recovery not when you're working out you like mm. break it and then it has to regrow itself better right I'm again, something like that now That's back not onto technical. robots and six know, million I, dollar man I haven't moved on from robots I'm like we do, can do remake robots him. really need to work out whether it's 110 <laughs> percent or not uh well so Sarah yeah. has the excuse if she's constantly terrified that, you know, technology is going to kill us. <laughs> I'm not constantly terrified. I just sound like it in the podcast. Yes. I have no excuse, but I'm going to use the excuse that Sarah's here. <laughs> <laughs> that is my excuse. Wow. Why we keep going back to robots is Sarah's here. So we, we have to, you know, reassure her Thanks. constantly. Thanks. From her, technology is going to kill us. Constant fears. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what it is. We'll see who's right when the robots kill us. <laughs> see? See? <laughs> that is what I'm here for, to make you feel slightly less afraid of that. Oh, that's funny. Yes. But so even hit workouts and even, you know, athletes can do, can benefit from lists. And I don't know if for them this would technically be considered like cross-training. 
Mm-hmm. Just because I don't fully understand what cross training is, because I always think of sneakers, right? right? <laughs> cross trainers, right? I'm like, yeah. but is that? Do I need specifically cross trainers to do cross training? Can I do cross training? <laughs> <laughs> always, always so confused. Uh, but yeah, but even athletes can because it's not as hard as what they might be doing otherwise. So it does give their body that recovery time which it needs. But it also doesn't just have them sitting around doing nothing, feeling like they're going to lose all all the benefits they've so far gained. So it's like a win, 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 win. I feel like that win should have two wins and stand for something because we're all on. We're all about the acronyms or W.I.I.N. But I won't even try to figure <laughs> out what that would uh, stand for. But so anyway, some examples of lists include going for a slow jog or casual walk on flat terrain, Mm -hmm. uh, riding a stationary bicycle at an easy pace, and they define easy as like less than five miles per hour. Um, Okay. But an easy pace and low resistance, leisurely swimming, and some forms of gentle yoga. Oh, some forms. So even yoga, it would not always be considered low impact. Is that what we're saying? I'm not sure if it's not necessarily that it wouldn't be considered low impact as that it can at times be intense. Right. Because some yoga classes. Yeah. I mean, it really depends on how bendy you are. (laughs) Also that. Yes. And you know what they. Yeah. uh, Yeah. But other things also include uh, power walking, the stair stepper, the elliptical and the rowing machine, which the rowing machine kind of throws me off because that just feels very dynamic and burst of power. It's like you. I suppose you can do it slower, though. You don't have to like just go full out with the rowing machine. You can row, row like you're on a date. <laughs> you're just rowing uh-huh. casually down in the pond. See, I don't know. Rowing machines again in my head are for like Olympic athletes training to actually, <laughs> and there you are not, you know, rowing casually down a pond. <laughs> right you are going to a specific <laughs> rhythm that I have no clue about because I don't fully understand crew. But that's what rowing machines are in my head. So the idea of rowing machines being low impact, I'm like, oh, I mean, I guess you're, you know, you're technically in the machine and you just push with your legs and it rolls you what is that <laughs> the seat moves whatever it is good for your core i know that and, and I, my arms but i might not have been doing it properly <laughs> gym machines are confusing they're just they are they they confuse me i don't know why it's like i see the pictures and i see other people on them and i'm like okay i can do that and then i go to do it and it's like um what where are the directions and the directions in english i don't <sighs> okay so i'm just gonna Go back to my room and lie down. You need directions in English? That's just crazy talk. I know, right? And the little hex rinse and... Sorry, making strange jokes. So we're going to take another short break <laughs> while I try, try, and get back on topic. Stay tuned. Tired of searching the vast jungle of podcasts? Now listen close and hear this out. There's a podcast network that covers just about everything that you've been searching. Hey! The Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network is here. Nothing less than a podcast bliss with endless hours of podcast coverage. From news, sports, music, fashion, cooking, entertainment, fantasy, football, and so much more. So stop lurking around and go straight out to the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. Guaranteed to fill that podcast itch. Whatever it may be, visit us at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and download us on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Google Play. Welcome back to the GSMC Health and Wellness Podcast. Before the break, we had mentioned some of the various ways that you can do lists. And that's one of the great things that people like about lists is it's very easy to employ and you can put in lots of different adaptations depending on what your body can do. Whereas mm-hmm. hit, 
I'm sure there are multiple versions of hip, but again, they all just feel like the really intense person with the <laughs> they, body. All they all feel get. like multiple things that my body can't do. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Just all those things over there, as opposed to here within my reach. But so, anyways, the because list is you know it's not the 110. It's not even 80. You're supposed to stay in that 50 to 60 percent maximum heart rate. They say that you should try and look like if on a scale of one to ten, where one is like lying in bed and 10 is like, I'm dying. You want to be working at an intensity of about three to four, okay. but three to four for you. So what's three to four for me not, might not be the same for three to four for Sarah. Right. Or three to four for that crazy intense hit person. Right. Hit man. Hit man. So, <laughs> three to four is nothing. So again, uh, how do you, how do you determine that? So one of the things is because you're supposed to have that 50 to 60% of your maximum heart rate, if you know your maximum heart rate, that's easy to find. But to estimate your maximum heart rate, there's this simple equation where you take your age. No one said there'd be math. Didn't they? <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, it was in the fine print. You just didn't read it. Shoot. Okay. Take your, take your age. Take your age and subtract it from 220. Okay. And then you would, of course, have to figure out what 60% of that is. Hmm. But that's... So now I'm trying to quickly do that in my head and see if my maximum heart rate when I've been working out is accurate. I so let's is. say you're 25. Neither of, it, of us is. Uh, 220 minus 25 is... 195. 195. And 60% of 195 is... That I don't know. 60, let's see. 10% is 19.5. I was going to say, exactly. <laughs> That's the way I always do it. So 20 times 6 is 120. Right. Minus <laughs> so it's about 75-ish. Right? Huh? What? Wouldn't it be like 117? I'm just going to get out my calculator as I do this. See, I did it by 10. (laughs) I did it by 10. I'm so tired. 19.5 times 6 is 117. Yes. 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 See, See, I did 19 times 10, and I was like, that doesn't make any sense. No. I'm going to give Sarah the benefit of the doubt. I'm closer to being out of school. I didn't even do it by 10. I don't know what what the heck I was multiplying by. It made sense at the time. I'm sure it did. Mm-hmm. But can, so I anyways, just, hmm. uh, can I just put it out there that I've had a migraine today and yes. that's the reason that I can't do math? Really? Yeah. Let's go with that. That's what it is. And anytime otherwise you've ever heard us talk about math. Sarah has a migraine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you do have them an unfortunate amount of time, so yeah, it's possible. But yeah, so the idea also, if you don't want to do math, is that a way to tell if you're in that zone is you should be able to still talk to someone, but uh, not be like, I'm not doing anything. Like we're sitting here talking. If you feel like you're sitting and talking, you're probably not working hard enough. But mm-hmm. if you're like, I can't speak to say, then right. you're working too hard. Then you're going toward that oxygen thing we were talking about last week. Exactly. <laughs> so you should be Another at like happened. a light sweat and not in the like, I'm drowning in my sweat sort of intensity level and is there a i know it's uh, earlier it said like 45 to 60 minutes is that like an accurate time frame for this yeah Uh, how many times a week well i think you can do it almost every day if because again it's not as high intensity or high impact Mm mm-hmm and it's actually used as a recovery workout. So my recovery workout for my recovery workout is <laughs> <laughs> me sitting on the couch and watching TV. That, that's not helping. But yeah, so I, you can do it probably most days, though. Again, of course, listen to your body. But they do say that you shouldn't rely on it as your only form of exercise because your body adapts and gets used to things. And so you do still want to slightly up the intensity mm-hmm. to keep from plateauing. Mm-hmm. Um, so they say, you know, well-rounded fitness program has both high intensity days and low intensity days but again what that means for you specifically my high intensity day is not like serena williams high intensity day is anyone's serena williams high intensity day would probably kill me serena low williams low intensity day (laughs) might actually kill me i mean the woman played tennis while very pregnant (laughs) yes just i I heard we're not going to talk about her intensity it scares me we're just going to say she's awesome keep it up Yes, but because you have that very simple, can I keep up a conversation threshold, this is really good for social activities. So if you're a person who likes to work out with a buddy, and also that helps keep you, you know, responsible because you can't skip it if your buddy's going to be there. Right. Then it's like, hey, 
cool, I have a thing that I can talk with, so I need my buddy in order to do the workout so I know whether or not I'm at the right intensity. So those groups of older people who do the mall walking, they had it right all along. They 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 are so smart. We need to get on. I mean, you should learn from your elders, people. Yep. That's what we're saying. And so on that note, we're going to end for today. Thank you for listening to the GSMC Health and Wellness Podcast. You've been listening to the Golden State Media Concepts Health and Wellness Podcast, part of the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. You can find this show and others like it at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Download our podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, and Google Play. Just type in GSMC to find all the shows from the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network from movies to music, from sports, to entertainment, and even weird news. You can also follow us on Twitter and on Facebook. Thank you, and we hope you have enjoyed today's program.